Evan Skay's the lone running back. He's gonna get it on first down. Head down into the line, picks up one, and that run up the middle is working the first half. It's not working anymore for the Bombers. No, it is not. It seems like this Hobart defense is really keyed in on this running game. And I know you're up, and I know you want to manage the clock. But I would look to pass, at least on second down here, try to get something going. Five turnovers for the Bomber. Uh, sorry, five turnovers for Hobart. Bombers with a couple of their own as well. Up the middle to Skay. He bobbles the ball, but maintains possession as he falls forward. Almost another fumble there. Yeah, we see him running a, running a lot with one hand on the ball. That time did have two hands, bobbled it a little bit. If you're Ithaca, the last thing you want to do is give them, it, give Hobart the ball right back deep in Ithaca's territory. Third and eight from the 23 yard line. Skay the lone back behind Schaefer. Keep an eye, one-on-one -on -one coverage in the bottom of your screen by Brian Balsamo on a backup corner. Schaefer looking his way, pump fakes. Now rolls out, there's a flag down into the air of holding, looking for Balsamo, he's open. He makes the catch, but hold on just a second. There is a flag back to the line of scrimmage, and now the rule is incomplete that Balsamo dropped it. Daryl Scales was on the coverage. But the penalty is going to be against Ithaca, so it doesn't matter either way. Top they're, penalty there. They're going to accept this back. Ten yard penalty. Back Still up third down. Ithaca a little bit. And try to stop them again on third down. Interesting, as opposed to making Ithaca punt deep inside their own territory. Oh, letting more time run now. off the clock. Yeah, that makes more sense. A lot more sense. You know, Alex, we've seen these first and second down plays. I know you're trying to manage the clock, but you still got 12 minutes left in this game. You can't run it every single time on first and second down. Hey, you don't know how long you can count on Hobart to keep turning the ball over. Sean Cunningham is back inside the 35-yard line to return this one. Brandon Steph had his last kick blocked. He stands at his own six. Low snap handled. Steph gets this one away. It's going to come down to Cunningham at the 35-yard line. It's over his head, and it will take a neutral roll out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Hobart will come back out with Parker Thielander. Gets to lucky there. Could have gotten away with a late hit. I think it was Aaron Francis. Just kind of cleared somebody out once the ball had already bounced out of bounds. See if the Bombers can find another turnover out here. They're going to put Hardigan back in after Burns had trouble on that last handoff. And the officials want to confer on the far side. Not sure what they're discussing. This defense has been in, the first in, the first in this fourth quarter. They have not broke yet. You can only wonder if Ithaca keeps punting how many times this defense can stop this Hobart offense. Now the officials are going to... Something wrong with the football. Looking at the football, I'm going to refrain from a deflate gate. Thank joke. you, thank you. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Properly inflated and all will get this game going again. Or not, if we checked Hobart's equipment, men. <laughs> the lander hands off up the middle to Hardigan. He's going to be stood up at the line. Hardigan's really come through here in the second half. After struggling early, it'll be second and nine now. We've seen some good runs in the second half by this Hobart defense, but for the most part, this defensive line on Ith by Ithaca and the linebacking core has been absolutely phenomenal today. Lander looks near side, the under over works. And charging up the side, still on his feet is Chris Sir. He's tackled near the 50 yard line. Hobart dials up the right play there, 25 yard gain and a first down. And this passing attack has seemed to be much more effective under Thielander. Great throw there, wide open. 
That crossing pattern, the they catch, pause cans regarding two men, and P. Lander can pick which one he wants to throw to pretty much. Great job by the tight end Chris Sire, catching that ball and just getting it right up the field. It's gonna be Hardigan again, finds a hole, hit hard, but now after a gain of seven. And what a hit by Jordan Shem there. Hardigan gained some yards, but he took a shot. He will stay in the game. Two wide receivers near side left, one far side right. Hand up up the middle, Hardigan again. He's not gonna get the first down. He's actually gonna be driven backwards. And it may end up being a loss of one. Gang tackling by the Bombers. Tajay Henderson in on the play. First time we've called his name today. Great job by Tajay there. Wrapped him up, made sure he didn't get any forward progress. He dragged him backwards. Looked like he was playing tug or war with him. Under 10 to go now in the fourth quarter. Ithaca still holding an 11 point lead. Third in three, crowd to their feet. Five wide for Hobart. Ithaca showing blitz. D. Lander to quarterback, draw, Schneider, Termidor is there, the sack, fourth down Hobart. Mark McDonough dials up the right play, and now Hobart has a tough decision to make, and it looks like they're gonna punt. 